Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, March the 1st. Welcome to March. 2018 is the year, and the episode today is 2,717. My name is Bruce Turner. Glad to have you with us for today's episode of Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled Q&A. Stay tuned. You know, there will always be times in our life when we struggle with questions, especially questions that ask God why. Lord, what is going on? I mean, I mean, really, I mean, I just don't know if I can take any more. You find a number of times in the book of Psalms where David is experiencing that himself. And I love seeing this repeatedly, how he resolves these times of difficulty in his own life. And I want to share with you an example of that. And I titled this episode Q&A because what I'm going to share with you today addresses the questions, but also addresses a satisfying answer. Psalm chapter 77, beginning in verse 7, David said, Will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? Has his mercy ceased forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Now, be honest, can you identify with David there? Can you remember thinking or asking those questions? Lord, have you cast me off forever? Will you be favorable no more? Has your mercy ceased? Your promises failed? Have you forgotten to be gracious? Have you shut up those tender mercies? And then David says in verse 10, And I said, this is my anguish, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and talk of all your deeds. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great as our God? You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have with you your arm, redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. So David, when he was in this place of anguish, and I loved, he described it quite well. This is my anguish. But then he said, I will remember. He didn't say that just once. He said that three times. I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. And so one of the things we do when we're in that time of anguish and the, and struggling with the wise is to remember God's faithfulness in the past. God has not changed. God of Israel does not change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So even in those times when we think he is forgotten and his mercies are no more, we go back in our mind and we remember God's faithfulness in the past but not only do we remember but then we meditate he said I will also meditate on all your work so this is going deeper so one is just calling to mind remembering in a simple way what God has done in the past but then to meditate on that meditate on these things 
just like a cow chewing its cud. Just roll over that thing in your mind, God's faithfulness. And then here's a real key. And I never noticed this until today. So when you're in that time of anguish, you want to make sure that you remember and then you want to, me then you want to meditate. But then David said, after he said, I will also meditate all, on all your work, he said, and talk of your deeds. Oh, you know, you're working your way through anguish when you're able to talk about God's faithfulness and what people around you see and know the struggle that you're facing, but they see the peace of God in your face and they hear you with your lips begin to share about God's faithfulness in the past. What a testimony that is. So here's David's question. Who is so great as our God? Nobody. Nobody. He is the God who does wonders. He has declared his strength among the peoples. Father, thank you so much today for your faithfulness. And even in the difficult, challenging times of life, even in the anguish moments, help us to remember who you are and what you have done, to meditate on that, worship you, and then to begin to speak out your faithfulness to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, follow, all those things. You can find Morning Manna on any podcast app, also in the Apple iTunes store. Thanks so much for being a part of Morning Manna. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.